die is all we need to worry about. Ooh, you're gonna need more than a bandage. How? It's not like it can sneak through the air vents. Too small. I don't know. He's Sam Fisher. I've heard his file. Better you than me. Time, Sam. Where are you? I'm close. Get closer. Reed's knocking on the door to the Oval Office right now. For whatever it's worth, Sam, I am so sorry for everything. I thought we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reed, and we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double-tap the President immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. 
I always do. Tom? I've got Fisher. I'm bringing him in. Don't do anything drastic until I get there. Sorry, Sam. You're going to the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Hands? You comfortable? Ah, fuck. Get up. You've got an appointment with the President. All those years, you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat, for the same reasons. Guess I never did know you. No, you didn't. And you still don't. I was wondering when you were gonna get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stun he pulled at the airfield. Well, he put up a little bit of a fight. Of course he did. And now he's here, the famous Sam Fisher, just in time to be useful. So how does it feel, Sam, knowing you're gonna go down in history as the man who assassinated President Caldwell? Fuck you, Reed. Of course, we'll be just a little too late to rescue her. And you'll be shot multiple times trying to escape. It's classic, but it's clean. You don't honestly believe that this is gonna work. The surveillance camera's footage is gonna show. Your cameras, we own them. Your security measures, we made sure the Pulse fried them. We're third echelon, Madam President. We own every bit of information that goes through this town. And if I want to, I can make it look like you were assassinated by two circus clowns and a golden retriever. So shut up, and you might live a few seconds longer. <laughs> That's not third echelon. It's not Lambert's third echelon. Last time I checked, he was dead. And guess what? Third Echelon nearly died with Tom. him. Tom. You see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. She was gonna shut us down, leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you spent so many years stopping, Sam. Madam President, are you all right? Yes, I'm oh, fine, thank you. Son of a... Uh, that was a close call. You've got call. maybe two minutes before the army takes back the White House. Make them useful. How did Megiddo get to you? You don't want to know about Megiddo, you want to know about your daughter. You don't get to talk about my daughter. You still don't get it, do you? Sarah didn't matter. Threatening her was just a way to get to you. And leveraging you was a way to get to Third Echelon. And Third Echelon, that was a way to get what they wanted out of the White House. You're the mole. You're the one Lambert was worried about. Very good, Sam. You finally see. You son of a bitch! Uh, you cost me three years of my life. Three years when I thought my daughter was dead. Move! Move! Drop your weapon! On the floor now! Captain, thank you for rescuing me. Now, I don't see anyone else here but us, and I'm sure you don't either. Oh, ma'am. Let's get you out of here. Thank you. Oval Office is secure. We have the President. POTUS is safe and secure. I talked to Sam once since he left. He told me that he and Sarah were gonna take some time to catch up. He talked about learning who was really important to you, while you always had to come back for him. He talked about family. And you know what the last thing he said to me was just before he hung up? 
Vicky said, thanks for everything. I love you like a brother. Brother, that's family, right? Yeah. I thought so.